In example 8, we're given this uh, function here asks, where does the tangent line have a slope of 6? Well, the tangent line slope is the value of the derivative if you put a, an a number in place of x. So I'm going to find the derivative of this. It's a polynomial function, has four different terms, so we'll differentiate each one. Uh, the derivative of 2x cubed, the 3 comes down in front and multiplies by the 2, so that's 6x and squared. We decrease the exponent by 1. Uh, we bring this 2 down in front, so this is going to be negative 6x. The exponent of 2 so minus 1 would be 1, so there's actually 1 here. We don't have to write that. And the derivative of negative 30x is just negative 30. Um, if you have just an x to the first, like we have here in the negative 30x, there's really a 1 here. So the 1 comes down and multiplies by the negative 30 to give negative 30. And then the exponent of the x, well, it was 1. 1 take away 1 would be 0. Now, remember, x to the 0 equals 1. So that's why we don't normally write that. And the, the derivative is just negative 30. And the 8, of course, is a constant, so its derivative would be 0. So if I want to know, for example, what the tangent line slope was where x was 2, I could put 2 in place of x, and that would give me the slope of the tangent line where x is 2. We want instead to know where does the tangent line have a slope of 6. So what we would do is set this equal to 6. We're setting the derivative equal to 6. And notice that everything there is divisible by 6. So if we divide everything by 6, we get a much simpler equation, x squared minus x minus 5 equals 1. So dividing everything by 6. And then this is going to be a quadratic equation. Whether you're going to factor or use the quadratic form, you should have everything over to one side set equal to 0. So I'll rearrange, subtract 1 from both sides, or bring the 1 over, and get x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0. Look for two numbers that add to negative 1 and multiply to negative 6 which, of course, would be negative 3 and plus 2. So this will factor into x minus 3 and x plus 2. And then we set each of those factors to 0. So if we set uh, x minus 3 to 0, we get 3. If we set x plus 2 to 0 and solve for x, we get negative 2. Notice just the opposite signs. So where x is 3 and where x is negative 2 are two points where this curve has tangent line slopes of 6. Now it says where, so that infers points, so we should find the y values that go with these. So I'm going to substitute 3 and then I'll do negative 2. We're putting 3 back in the original function to find the y value that goes with this x value of 3. And if we evaluate that, we'll get a function value or y value of negative 55. We'll do the same thing for the negative 2. And the y value works out to be 40. So 3, uh, negative 55, and negative 2, 40 are the two points where the tangent line has a slope of 6. Now, just to show you what this looks like, there's the, there's the curve, actually. This is a cubic function. And I've actually drawn in on my graph and calculator the two uh, lines who have a slope of 6. This is actually just in y equals mx plus b form. So notice that uh, at where x is negative 2, uh, the tangent line slope does have a slope of uh, uh, 6. And where x is uh, positive 3 here as well, it's y equals 6x plus negative 73 or 6x minus 73. So once again, the slope is 6.